hear what I said, is she flaked on a previous date and then you, the simp you, asked to reschedule. She's not into you. Yo, what is up, AD team? Awesome that I'm back again with another video. So in this video, we're gonna discuss some signs that that chick you asked out on a date last week or a few days ago, here's some signs that she's actually gonna flake on you. So the reason why I'm making this video is because I feel like this is so, so, so relatable in any single guy's dating life. You're gonna inevitably deal with chicks. Like I said, no matter how high value you are, no matter how attractive you think you are, no matter how much you think a girl is into you, a lot more can go wrong than can go right. So if you see these signs, just know I warned you. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so the first time that she'll flake on you is after you already asked her out on a date and she says, uh, I'll let you know, we will see, let me follow back to you. You know, something like that where she's not given a clear, direct answer is more of a vague response. And what I've learned is two things. Either one, she's playing you as a backup plan. So just in case she's bored that night or nothing else better tends to come along or the guy that she actually wants to go out with doesn't act right, then she'll go out with you or she's just kind of playing it safe and giving you a no answer, basically a no, but just trying to be nice about it, you know what I mean? And then when the time comes, she'll either never follow back with you or just flick on you flat out. So what I've learned is that never take these answers seriously and once you hear that, just know she's probably not interested at all. Why? Because a girl who actually wants to go out with you will always give you a clear, direct answer of what they wanna do and that they are down to see you. And usually the text you'll get is, I'm down or I'm down, what did you have in mind? They'll say something like that. And how do you respond to the, what do you have in mind text? Well, it depends on what you personally wanna do, but I'm not gonna get into that in this video because I actually did dive deep into that on my Patreon, like how to exactly follow back with what did you have in mind based on what you wanna do, if you know what I'm saying. So check that out, link down below, but just know, that she gives any sort of vague answers like that, she's probably gonna flake on you. All right, sign number two is that after you've already asked her out, her communication becomes sparse and unenthusiastic. So the reason why this is bad is because it obviously is a communication red flag and it, she pretty much is showing her lack of interest right after you asked her out. Now, you might not even see this type of behavior until the day of the date. So let's say you guys are texting, not like back and forth every five minutes or whatever, but you know you're texting every hour, every three hours, something like that. But the day of the date or a day before the date, communication, it just goes horrible. Like she texts you one time a day, her enthusiasticness in the text, you know, you guys can pick up on the vibes, right? More than likely, she's gonna flake on you. And I've had cases where it was like, man, the girls seem high interest at first, but now like that communication is off, she's acting uninterested. Lo and behold, she ended up flaking and it happens every single time. Guys, I mentioned this in a past video, but never get girls the benefit of the doubt. That is how you're gonna get flaked on a lot by giving girls a lot of the benefit of the doubt. So once you kind of extract all that benefit of the doubt, then you can actually deal with more women who actually want to see you and don't waste your time with these flakes. But that was sign number two. That is definitely a communication red flag. All right, funny story. So I've been in a position where I can kind of play both roles. So I, I flake on chicks too, just like girls flake on me or girls might flake on you. I've been able to be in a position where I can flake on chicks. And so I can kind of see it from both sides. I see what girls do and I think about what would I do or how have I flaked on chicks. So keep that in mind. And point number three is a sign, and this is something that I do to be honest, is that I don't follow up on the day of the date. So the day of the date, if she doesn't follow up with any sort of, hey, are we still meeting here? Or, hey, how's your day been? Or like any sort of communication follow-up text, then one, she probably had medium to low interest and wasn't all that excited to go out with you in the first place because I promise you, any girl who was super excited or even genuinely interested on in going out with me, they've always followed up on the date. Like, hey, just making sure we're going here or there and then I'll follow up there too. Sometimes I'll follow up first, it just kind of depends on the situation and the girl that I'm dealing with. But if she doesn't follow up, 
then she's probably hoping that you don't follow up so that she doesn't have to go out. And like I said, I've done the same thing to where I don't follow up, I don't mention anything, and I'm just hoping she doesn't text me and we just kind of forget about any plans we ever set. I know it's messed up, but seriously, take account into that. And if she's not doing that, it could be a sign that she's gonna flake on you. Sign number four is that she flaked on a previous date and you offered to reschedule it and she agreed. Hear what I said, is she flaked on a previous date and then you, the simp you, asked to reschedule. So that is a clear, definitely a clear sign she's gonna flake again. I would say even worse than her asking to reschedule because one, if a girl genuinely had to flake out for a reason, then more than often she will, you know, mention a reschedule time. But let's say she flakes, but you wanna see her so bad that you just say, hey, that, that's fine, that's totally okay, can you do this day instead, and, she's, and she agrees, I can 90% assure you she is gonna flake on you again. Why? Because she's already flaked on you once, so you already told her that it is okay for her to act in that behavior. If you accept no flakes, then girls won't flake on you, and they definitely won't do it twice in a row. And if she definitely did it twice in a row, then you better not be setting another rescheduled date. So personally, if she doesn't offer to reschedule, just cut your losses, take the L, and you better not be asking to reschedule on your own time too because you deserve that flake at that point. All right, the last sign, sign number five, is that she mentions how busy her schedule is, how much she has going on, all her issues without you even asking for it. What this is sub communication or indirect communication, letting you know that she is not gonna make time for you, so don't even try to ask. There you go, the riddle is answered. Guys, if a girl is doing this, Simply don't don't set a date with her. She's letting you know, like, hey, I'm gonna flake on you. So if you even try to set a date with me, don't do it. So this is more of a rare sign of a flake. But like I said, all these are signs that a girl could flake, not that she's going to, but like 90% of the chance she probably will. And if she's doing this, trust me, she's not into you. She's not into you. And that's the thing, guys. You just gotta start dealing with girls who are more into you, more higher interest girls, because truth be told, you're gonna deal with not that many cases like this. And I'm not sure if you guys know, but I pretty much have a system that sub qualifies or pre qualifies a girl's high interest for me before we even get to this part. I call it the dating funnel. Now, the dating funnel is an ebook that I wrote that all Patreon members have access to, by the way. And it shows how to basically pre qualify a girl's high interest. So by the time you get to setting the date, this girl is super into you. You already know it. She's not gonna flake. And if she does, then she was just playing games the whole time anyway, and you don't wanna waste your time on that. So good luck guys out there dating. Hopefully you'll get you know, no more flakes or you get a lot less flakes from this. Remember, don't tolerate it at all. Subscribe, subscribe, like the video if you're new. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Peace.